Things don't always work out the way you planned. And when they go wrong, they can humble you like you've never been humbled before. This is what happened to me. But before we get into that, let's go back to the beginning. September 7th, 2018. Out of the blue, Honda Motorsports contacted me uh, via text message and asked me if I would be interested to come up to Packwood, Washington and be one of the very first people or the one of the first social media uh, type of people to uh, test ride the brand new CRF 450L. Uh, this has been a motorcycle that's been anticipated for a long time. It is a uh, true lightweight dual sport bike, uh, something that is... Um, just, it's really revolutionary, and I jumped at the chance. I was so excited. The first thing I did was I called Mrs. W to tell her about this uh, wonderful opportunity we had and started making plans to be up there. Now, it was pretty short notice, so I only had uh, a couple days to get ready. So I loaded up the adventure van and headed for Packwood, Washington. So if you're wondering what's going on here, uh, a friend of mine uh, from uh, Jesse from Pacific Northwest Dual Sport gave me a call, last minute call the other day, uh, from or he passed my name on to the factory Honda team is introducing a new motorcycle. It's a new Dual Sport bike. It's the 450. Uh, L uh, and they had a slot that opened up uh, so I hustled on down here to Packwood, uh, Washington uh, for um, uh, the unveiling of this bike. They've got a whole bunch of bikes. They've got their factory team here. I just saw Johnny Campbell walk by um, uh, All of the dirt bike magazine guys. It's just it's just huge event So I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go and to ride this new bike uh, and to um, uh, with with the, with the factory guys. So this is typically what happens at the end of my rides is I come back and someone uh, like does all the tune up for me and pressure washes my bike. Is that your experience? <laughs> typically, yeah. <laughs> so the Honda guys, uh, when you're done with the bike, they wash everything. Everything is uh, all checked out. All the service is done. You can get, I could get used to this. I've never really been to an event like this. Uh, I have get invited to them uh, from time to time, but I usually turn them down. But this was a lot of fun, and I love motorcycles, and I'm, I've always been a big fan of Honda, uh, but they did a great job. They, uh, it was a really impressive to see their factory team um, and the resources that they have uh, and the expertise. One of the coolest things was um, that uh, three of the engineers, or two engineers and the project manager, came all the way to Japan uh, to talk to the riders. Uh, and these guys were really wonderful. I, I watched them carefully, and, and and I think that they made an effort to, to approach every rider, no matter uh, if he was the lowliest guy or um, you know a, a very experienced racer. And they really wanted to know the input. Uh, we had the project manager for the whole um, the whole motorcycle. We had the guy that had developed the engine um, and uh, the, one of the riders that did all the testing. And uh, they asked questions and, and were so excited to see, I guess, uh, the fruition of all of their work uh, coming true, and uh, all of the fun and the and the joy and the and the pleasure that the riders were having uh, for such a good job, but uh, it was it was really nice. I wanted to share uh, a funny story with you about uh, the dinner. All right, I'm in the food line. We've got Pacific Northwest salmon, garlic mashed potatoes, and homemade rolls, and a Sasquatch bottle opener. Yeah. I'll I'll try that out there. Okay. That right there is real butter. And I don't know a great deal about the Japanese culture, but I know they eat very high quality food. What you don't see is that one of the engineers is right behind me and about to have an experience with the local folk. Now I didn't personally witness this, but I have it on good authority that it happened. So it went something like this. Nice catering lady puts a big dollop of mashed potatoes on Japanese engineer's plate. He's heading over to the real butter. She grabs his plate and says, oh, you can't have mashed potatoes without butter on them, and proceeds to whip out the, wait for it, I can't believe it's not butter spray, and liberally cuts his whole plate. Now I'll admit, I am a bit of a food snob, but there is nothing I repeat, nothing in life more disgusting 
than a margarine aerosol spray. Welcome back everyone. Tuesday morning, we're getting ready for a big ride. Honda's got, I think 11, 11 or 12 of the brand new 450Ls out. I'm really excited to ride one. I haven't been on a Honda for a long, well, long, long time, apart from the one we got for Jack, but let's go pick out a bike and we'll get it set up for the ride. Jesse told me I need to rep represent here. Jesse getting that on there straight. Some poor guy's gonna have to take it off now. There we go. It'll look good today though, right? You remember Jesse, right? Pacific Northwest, Northwest Dual Sport? We're gonna be doing, hopefully doing, putting together a big ride this fall, so. Oh yeah, that'll be awesome. We'll shoot some video on that. That's coming up. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like, at first it was like, I got to the point that I was the technical support. Like I would give, you know, you want me to explain the technical support? I said, yeah, no problem. But, uh, so it's a little bit, at first it was a little weird, you know, just kind of like getting into that, that aspect of it. So it's kind of weird perspective. Cody? I am. I'm Colin. Hey, Colin. Thanks nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. I know it was yeah. kind of a short notice, but it was cool. So well, hopefully I was get stoked. out and enjoy. Yeah, so. thanks for the invite. No problem. The bike looks nice. Yeah, I hope so. Get out there and enjoy it. totally so. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. I'm glad to have you out. Quiet. So quiet. So we've got pro riders that are going to be uh, leading and chasing, uh, so no one gets left behind. Looks like they're riding the big 650 LXRs. The Honda guy's even starting my bike for me. Uh, thank you. You're warming it up for me? Yeah. So we're going to go with like a posting system. Yeah, that's right. That's Johnny Campbell. If you don't know who Johnny Campbell is, you probably have no business getting on a motorcycle. Well, after this video, you could probably say the same thing about me. Johnny Campbell is, uh, is a legend in motorcycle uh, racing. If memory serves, among other things, he has won the Baja 1000 first place. And he was our ride leader. So I guess it's time to uh, show you the portion of the video you've all been waiting for. Uh, I'll let it play in its entirety. And then at the end, I'll try to explain what I think happened. Yeah, I'm okay. Hold on a second, watch out. Just wait, stop, 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 stop. He's hooked up. Are you okay, Andrew? All right, okay. All right? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I can't figure out what just happened. I thought that I creamed you there. Uh, yeah, I know what you did, but I'm okay. I'm wearing all my armor. I got the, th the throttle got the throttle hung up on something. Yeah, that just happened. I don't remember um, ever being so embarrassed and humiliated in my life. Um, if I have been, I, I don't recall it. The throttle didn't get hung up on anything. I, I, at that point, I was so shocked of it. I was looking for any any excuse, any way to deflect blame because I was so, I was so mortified when it happened. I have rode motorcycles a long time and never have I ever experienced anything like this. And I've watched the instant replay many, many, many times. And and uh, and look back on it and i think i know what happened uh, a combination of things 
So as you know, the the bike, my my my, motor, my bike, my Husqvarna, uh, is set up very differently, and I've ridden this way on all my dirt bikes, and that is uh, putting the rear brake on the left hand, a double clutch assembly, um, and riding with a recluse clutch, meaning that's an automatic clutch. Uh, you don't have to use it. I have not been on a bike like this for a long time, and muscle memory and old habits they kind of die hard, and. I got on that bike and came out and had never ridden it before, um, no experience with it, hadn't been on a bike with a clutch uh, uh, for a long time, and of course with a different brake system that I'm used to. And I wasn't anticipating, I guess I wasn't prepared for the amount of power that engine has. Now I ride a TE300, which is the most powerful uh, production two-stroke bike uh, that you can buy. It's, it's cer certainly no slouch, it's certainly a man's bike. Uh, this 450 um, has incredible power. It uh, it, rep, race, it revs so quickly and it puts power to the ground so quickly. Um, and then being absent from you know, not having the clutch with a, is a little bit of a slop in that with my bike. What I think I did was I came in and to grab the clutch and to 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 rev the engine up a little bit to keep it from stalling. And the power is so immediate on this bike that it's hooked up on the pavement. Um, the bike immediately went into a wheelie. I panicked uh, as I was kind of falling back off the bike and inadvertently grabbed a whole handful of throttle and just plowed full speed um, into my fellow riders. It was, it, it happened so quickly and I was lying on the ground and the first thing that I thought was, I wish that I was unconscious so I didn't have to wake up and to face what I've just done to this. I was, it was, it was so humiliating and so embarrassing. And then immediately my mind went to, well, oh, how many people have I hurt? And, and what, you know, how much, how much have I, have I ruined these bikes? And, you know, I, I got up and I was trying to figure out what happened and, and everyone was very, you know, understanding and very gracious, but shocked. I mean, how can something like this happen? We have experienced riders there and this should this is just unacceptable and I was so ashamed and I was so embarrassed and uh, oh, I don't know what to say I mean I can it, it happened and I can't change it and I wish I could take it back and um, I was just mortified so fortunately um, Andrew who I took the force of my blunt was um, um, he was just a great guy I end up um, you know kind of starting a friendship with him and rode with him and um, he's a local guy you know close but lives close by here and um, he anyway he was very gracious and uh Everyone, everyone was great. The Honda guys carted off the bike, and uh, <laughs> I can only imagine how much damage I did. I totaled out two bikes, and they got Andrews going again. And mine was so messed up that they just wheeled out a brand new one and, and sent us on the ride. But it, you know, it was it was tough. The rest of the day, I, I was really felt like I was under a cloud of shame, and uh, I wish I could take it back. But uh, things happen, and you have to move on. But um, yeah, that's it. Lesson learned. There's a lot of experience gleaned from this event for me, and um, what I learned from it, I don't know. Be more careful, I guess. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to the Honda team and to um, Jesse at Northwest Dual Sports. Did a great job putting the ride together, and um, all the guys. And I, I apologize publicly, and don't know that I'll be invited back. <laughs> so. <laughs> Might be, that might be just as well, but um, I'll, I'll never forget it. That's for sure. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.